President Trump's reversal of some of the clean air rules imposed by the Obama administration marks a rejection of climate change science. Alex Dimitrik reports it could also prove a challenge to restoring the Chesapeake Bay. Surrounded by coal miners, President Trump summed up his executive order. My administration is putting an end to the war on coal. Meaning Obama-era rules reducing dependence on coal to produce electricity are over. Burning coal is a major source of greenhouse gases, which science says is heating the earth. Climate change threatening more severe drought and melting Arctic ice with increasing speed. Burning coal also poses a risk to the Chesapeake Bay. Coal-fired power plants all the way out to Indiana, their pollution comes to the Chesapeake Bay watershed. So there's a lot of pollution that comes from even the Midwest to this area, settles in here. That pollution is a form of nitrogen moving from air to land. Washed into waterways by rain, nitrogen feeds algae blooms, which create dead zones in the bay. Cleaner burning power plants help reduce nitrogen in the bay by 25 percent. That's led to cleaner water in recent years, and improvement environmentalists fear could be undone if more coal is burned. Not having those plants become more efficient, having more pollution go to the Chesapeake is uh, going to hurt the health of the bay. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. Market forces might discourage coal and help the bay as cheaper, cleaner, burning natural gas continues to make inroads at power plants.